we are going to take CG characters and we are going to generate photo real versions of them using AI. <laughs> so join us as we play a little show and tell, a little guessing game as to who is this strange looking human being and who do they represent. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do a pretty cool thing here. We are going to take CG characters, cartoon characters, and we are going to generate photo real versions of them using AI. If you ever wondered what a famous video game character might look like if they were a real human being, well, this AI will give you that result. And it's really easy to use. You can run it in your browser. So you might remember we made a video to see if AI could age us up or down correctly. The beginning process of that is you had to take a picture and you had to convert it into a latent space. Latent spaces, they're a little hard to describe, but if you imagine like in a video game, your character creator, we have sliders and you can like change the expression or the width of the head. That's basically what the AI has, but it has like a lot of those sliders. It has like thousands, if not millions of attributes of a face. It's drawing from a data set of actual human features. So when it creates the latent space version, it goes, okay, he's got a really sharp nose. I gotta find what the actual like human equivalent of a sharp nose is. That's why I think it's really interesting. Like you said, you have to draw the actual final piece from real faces. So if your face is so distorted or so devoid of detail that they look nothing like what a real human's nose or eyes look like, you will probably end up with a very weird result. So you guys uh, shout me out a character that you would want to see. Duke Nukem. I'm an equal opportunity ass kicker. All right, he's got sunglasses on, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> The real Duke Nukem. The real Duke Nukem. Man, that's freaking Paul Nukem. <laughs> Let's do another one. Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible. Request claim on claim number 15A. All right. That's a big chin. Oh, image path. Okay, so what happened here, it's not finding the facial landmarks. Uh, the mouth is lacking like defining landmarks of what the AI uses to find lips on a human face. What about Woody from Toy Story? Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's probably kind of accurate. That's a photo real Woody. <laughs> hey, let's do uh, Geralt from The Witcher. All right. It's already kind of like realistic, you know? All right, Geralt.jpg. Wow. That's really good. That's pretty That's good, good actually. Right? This is like the straight to DVD. Yeah. <laughs> like, once again, it has to pull from real people. Most of the people with white hair are old people, so that's why Geralt looks freaking old. His left eye is just going off to the side. <laughs> yeah, he's old. Yeah, he's just old. Yeah. So would you guys all like to make your own real people of famous characters? Yeah, you guys are turning, I figuring know. out which, one, yeah. which ones I'm going to choose. Let's all pick like four or five characters, and then at the end we'll go to the TV, and everybody shows their real version, and we all have to guess who it is. I got some uh, crispy ideas in mind here. Yeah. Off to the races, let's go. I'm gonna do a shrimp. They say shrimps don't have human-like features, but I disagree. This is my first one. I think I'm gonna go stick with Pixar. I want like really fun ones for people to guess that are like cool. I'm doing a mix of my favorite video game characters as well as my favorite animated movie characters. I'm trying to fool these guys. I don't want anybody to guess mine. I think I'm gonna do all video game characters here. I was thinking Joel from The Last of Us is seen as the uh, new Last of Us show is coming up with Pedro Pascal. So I'm gonna go Link here, Legend of Zelda, and then uh, try a few more here as well. I wanna do, I wanna do Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I wanna do some Metal Gear Solid characters. I don't know, I'm, I, I need to find a few more faces. I'm not totally sure yet. Like, what's the last game I played? Uh, oh yeah. Just picking some really wonky ones and trying to get them to read. So it's just like, who the heck is that? And then you show them the original and they're like, doesn't make sense. <laughs> I also want to just like take really iconic characters that are kind of distorted from video games and see what happens when like you turn that into a real person. So I am doing an interesting mix of characters here. I want to do a couple that are super cartoony and like really weird. A couple pieces of historical art. You could say I'm a fan of shrimp. Shrimp is not pretentious, it's not fancy, it's the everyman's decapod crustacean. I know Nico said this AI has limitations and that shrimps aren't human-like, but I find them very human-like, I find them very expressive. So I'm bringing this, this red boy into Photoshop. And I'm gonna just do some contrast adjustments to hopefully fool the AI into thinking that it's a human face. Shrimp-human hybrids, I think we're close, 
Once Elon's done going to Mars, I think that'll be the next thing he tackles. Oh, dog. <laughs> It actually worked. Like, it's crazy. This thing is amazing. <laughs> so Norman Reedus is in Death Stranding, so I took the character in Death Stranding and turned it into, just back into Norman Reedus. What other real uh, characters were based off? Oh, <laughs> Kevin Spacey in Metal Modern Warfare. I don't understand this stuff. I have zero pictures. <laughs> it's fun. I'm just knocking them out now. Look at this. <laughs> what the some of the ones I was really excited about ended up uh, not working because the program just couldn't find the facial landmarks. None of my shrimps worked. I'm actually very disappointed with this. It's just frankly ridiculous that AI hasn't caught up to include shrimps. It's not very inclusive. Fix your Let me manually input the face landmarks. Hashtag shrimp inclusion. I still got some really interesting surprises. Some good, some uh, maybe a little more funny than good. All right, I want to see your guys' creations. So join us in front of the television as we play a little show and tell, a little guessing game as to who is this strange looking human being and who do they represent? I have quite the spread of options to choose from. The mechs are finally here! And I know that the guys are recreating video game characters in real life, but guess what? We got real video game characters in a real video game, courtesy of today's sponsor, Mechorena. Mechorena is a new third-person shooter built from the ground up to promote friendly mobile play. It's free to play, has multiple fast-paced game modes, and focuses on short, high-intensity team PvP play. And if there's one thing I love about Mechorena, it's doing the Mechorena while I'm doing the Mechorena. So let's get started and open this up. They sent us a mystery box. And Hey, Mac Arena. They gave us this little, ooh, ooh. It's got a little mech in there. <laughs> hey, Mac Arena. We've got mechs on mechs on mechs. Ah, look at that mech. In Mech Arena, you take control of your own mech to run and gun your way through five on five team mech battles. Your mechs are the real stars of the show, and there's a ton of them to unlock and upgrade. Each one has a unique combat ability and can be customized with a ton of different upgrades and weapons. I'm trying to scan this QR code. Mech Arena Live. Uh oh, it's gonna pop up. Uploading. Oh god, you're in there. Oh god, I'm in there. Hey, Mech Arena, Mech Arena, Mech Arena. Hey, Mech Arena, Mech Arena, Mech Arena. Hey, Macarena. Now, the greatest thing about Macarena is that no matter what your play style is, you can get in on the action right now. They have awesome in game events and a great login rewards program. Macarena is completely free to play on iOS and Android, and you can use the link in the description below or scan the QR code right here and get one black carbon skin, 300 A coins, 50,000 credits, and more to help kickstart your game. So that's it. Just click the link in the description below or use the QR code. Get started with all that free loot, and we'll see you in there. All right, guys, you ready? Everybody, everybody close your eyes. Look away. All right, go ahead and look. It's George Washington. It's Abraham Lincoln. It's just George Washington. That's what he looked like, I guess. All right, who's this? That guy's definitely driving the Harley. Pawn Shop Thanos. Pawn Shop Thanos, yeah. All right, now the funny thing is, that guy is consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Oh, this all a snake? Snake. snake. <laughs> it's like Bollywood snake. <laughs> the Rock. The Rock. So smart. So smart. So smart. So smart. So smart. Wow. It kind of looks like me it's if I was like an old man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, it kind of does look like me. Wait, I got it. It's Mr. Clean. Steam got it. Oh! <laughs> 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 that was funny. Ten actors you never realized were in front of you your whole life. Oh, no! Oh, that, that's the heavy. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the one where I feel like it's making it better. Yeah. All right, Sam, I want to see what you got. <laughs> the bad guy from Far Cry? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Far Cry 3 bad guy. Oh. Yes. Is that boss? Oh, he is? Wow. There you go, you got it. All right, I'm going to go to the next oh, one. Look away. 
Oh, Alex Vance. Yeah, obviously. I thought this one was actually a pretty faithful representation. Yeah, that really you know. Oh, wow. really good. <laughs> That's who you would cast in the Just Alex Vance movie. Good. Oh, it's freaking Sam from uh, so it's Walking Death Dead. Yeah, yeah, no, it's but it, it's just it's just Norman Reedus again. Yeah. See, it's, it's just, just <laughs> his name is Normal Reedus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Who that? Looks like Kevin Spacey. Oh, yeah. But from uh, what? Modern Warfare. Right? There we go. Oh, no. Infinite Warfare. <laughs> yeah. He got it. Chase got it. You're, you're wrong. I mean, it's Kevin it's not Kevin Spacey. <laughs> See, this is not, it's not Kevin, this is definitely not, well, it's the character he played. <laughs> I know what you want. Doom, who's that? Oh, oh I know. Keanu Reeves in Cyberpunk, which is Johnny Silver. Yes, there we go. You can't say Keanu Reeves, because it's, I did not use a photo of Keanu Reeves. I used a render of Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> it didn't look like Keanu Reeves at first, but when you put it side by side, it's like, oh, it's Keanu Reeves, just like slightly more manly and rugged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the guy from- It's the, the Witcher guy, Gerald. Is that Gerald? Is that another Gerald? Uh, it's not the guy wait, is this the Gerald from the original? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the 1991, like, some guy in England is like, yo, we're doing this. And like, it's a cult, it's a cult hit. Yes, dude. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> I thought you just ran that one through to see. <laughs> Cloud. Yeah. Uh, what the heck? Cloud from Smash. From Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa. It looks like a female Cloud, though. Yeah, this one is kind of intense. Boom. Who that? <laughs> Dude, John Denver. <laughs> oh, French or what's his name? Dutch or French or the guy who's like the SAS dude. Yeah. Right. I wasn't too happy with this one either. Jordan, come on up. I have two. I got two to work. Who is this guy? Uh, Elmo? Yeah, Elmo. Is that Elmo? Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? The kid from Coco. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know his name though. Miguel or something. Oh, wow. That one actually is really good. But he looks like an old woman. Whoa. Cinderella. Cinderella. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it actually kind of looks like it, you know. And that really looks like a cosplay where they ran out of time to do a wig. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my two guys. Let's do Griffin. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, you might not get this one. Oh, it's the new Dude, it's the Lilo it's the Stitch Pixar movie that just Stitch. came out where he's like half. Oh, oh, God. Chase. <laughs> Chase just nails it on the first guess. Luca was a great movie. I actually wow. like that movie a lot. There's just this woman posing for a driver's license photo. <laughs> it is really interesting that for a lot of like the more cartoony, like Pixar style characters, it ended up giving the render, like the rendered person, more feminine features. This one. Jimmy Neutron. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, this one's a deep cut. This one's a deep Wait, cut. Wait, is, is that freaking Caesar? I feel like that's a, it's like a marble bust. He has the warm no. eyes though. Wait, is it a lizard? All right, this one was, I wanted to see what it would do with a Sumerian sculpture, wow. so. They actually turned it into a Sumerian man. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, there you go. Of course, Captain America. Uh, the computer did something real weird with it. I don't know how it got there. Oh. 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 <laughs> Why are you like this? Why? Yeah. Why are you like this? Christian, you're up. All right, everybody, look. This is a <laughs> this is a special homage to uh, something we know. Sam, it's we, you. He, that's not me. <laughs> it's your old man. Oh! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I'm the only one that got it. All right. Next up. Mahana. Oh, that one looks pretty good. Yeah. Pretty wow. That looks like a really creepy Instagram picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> is it the hole? It looks like a like a zombie character. The job of the hut? No. <laughs> is it my dad? 
I knew they wouldn't get it. See, I'm, I'm gonna stump them. Oh! oh! How did that work? I have no idea. What? <laughs> How did that work? Like, we, we were trying much more human-like faces than that, and it would not, not work. <laughs> oh, that's the kid. That's, that's the kid from Up. No? No? Cuts off his head and his top lip. Am I the only real man left? All right, Fenner, you're up. Oh. Ooh, oh. that's Van Gogh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's like he took. He was in a hot tub for like <laughs> a few <laughs> hours. <laughs> This one here, oh. one of my favorites. Is this a meme? That's a statue, isn't it? Yeah, it's a statue. Oh, oh, this is that that horribly cast statue that has been turned into a meme. <laughs> oh, that's Link. Yeah. Wow. Those are some wonky eyeballs, dude. That's, that's really cool. So cool. Yeah, that one works really well. But Link looks like a lot like a girl. <laughs> This is my masterpiece. Is it the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> From that? <laughs> you could just see the, the hat up above, whatever the hell that thing's on her head. This one here, this is my favorite. That's definitely from a painting. Dutch one with the, the woman with the white. Wait, is, is this the big brain? Is this big brain guy? Charge him. <laughs> Just pull the eye. Holy shit! Mine wouldn't even do a shrimp, dude. <laughs> Nick, you want to go next? I'll go next, sure. All right, every close their eyes. Every close their eyes. <laughs> Is that a South South Park? Yeah. yeah which character? I'm the Warcraft guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh, yeah, it does obvious. This is a like, very excited old woman. <laughs> I know she's kind of adorable. What the heck? Oh. Wait. Is that is that Mario? Deep in your childhood memory. Is that the guy from Toy Story, the toy collector? Oh um, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, How did you even it? It's, it's right up there on the surface for me. <laughs> Saw that movie about like 50 times in the last six months. Is that, is that Kaneda? That's Kaneda from Akira. Oh my god. Wow. What a Is that a Simpsons character? It's the last airbender. Yes! Uh, what? Oh, no. what? <laughs> when you blow your eyes, you can actually see it. <laughs> oh, oh, shrimp yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Skinny right. shrimp. Skinny shrimp. Shrimp, <laughs> shrimp Nick? <laughs> So you put Shrimp Nick in, and then you got like a real Shrimp Nick. <laughs> this is the Shrimp Nick you take home to mom, okay? Oh my God. Like, Here's a respectful young man. Fix the teeth, fix the eyes. <laughs> I'm very pleased with this, Shrimp Nick. I think we can only improve, though. There you have it. Good work, guys. That's a lot of fun. Great job, computer. <laughs> Until AI can successfully make me a human face out of a shrimp face, I won't be happy. So if anyone can do that for me, leave a Imgur link down in the comment section <laughs> below. If you guys would like to figure out how to do this on your own, stay tuned. I will do a little tutorial starting now. Hi, welcome to Nico's tutorial on how to make cool photo real versions of video game characters. First things first, I have a link in the description below. Click that link, it's gonna pop open this collab notebook, and then, or go to file, save a copy in your drive. Now you're gonna see a bunch of these cells, and they have play buttons next to them. And basically, you're gonna go through one by one to go through this. So first, you're going to hit play on the E4E setup. Run once only. It's going to take about five minutes. 
A few moments later. After that's done, a folder called Encoder for Editing is going to appear. Grab your image that you want to make a photoreal version out of and drag it into your folder, Encoder for Editing. Then under Input Image, you can type in the name of your image exactly. It's case sensitive, so make sure you match the name exactly, including upper cases, lower cases, and hip height. 12 seconds later. Next up, make sure you don't run it rolled out. Make sure you collapse it. One minute, 37 seconds later. There it goes, it has the face here, and then it shows you a side-by-side -side right here. And that's step one. You have your photo real face, congratulations. Let's say you want it to be high res. A style clip set up, run once only. You have to run this, let it install, and your final step will be to roll it, run the style clip body, which will give you the high res image. And that's it. It's finished, and here's my high res face. Yeah. That's all you need to do to make photo real faces out of video game faces. Now, if you want to do another image, you don't actually have to go through this huge process anymore. It's a lot faster. Say I want to do Agent 47. Copy that into the folder. I don't have to run E4E setup, only run that once. I've already ran it. Instead, I'm just going to tell it I have a new picture Agent47.jpg. Hit play. Don't forget to do that, otherwise, it doesn't know that we changed that. We run E4E completion. Hit play on that. Don't run anything that says run once only, you've already run it. You hit play on your style clip body, and that's it. I'd love to see some of your creations. Go ahead and share them either on our subreddit or on Instagram using the hashtag CorridorAIFace. Also, if you want to know who put together this collab notebook, we have their credits in the description of this video. There's a lot of names, I'm not very good at pronouncing them, so I'll just leave it there. But thank you for making this collab notebook, and to all the other people out there who make open source projects and put them up on GitHub for other people to experiment with, thank you for sharing knowledge. It helps all of us quite a bit. It makes the world a better place.